Okay, here with us this year, 2022 Nutrient Classic, uh, Tom Williamson. Welcome to the to the Classic, Tom. Uh, thanks, Brett. It's just great to be here. Yeah, COVID's knocked everything around once again, but we're here. Now, Tom, you're the agent for the Metallic Cats here in Australia. Um, we've seen a, an outstanding draft this year by Metallic Cat. Um, yeah, what horses and how, how good are they to our market? Yeah, they, they're great horses. You know, um, we tried to bring semen out from America of a horse we believe will work here in Australia. And um, Metallic Cats, you know, just their mind, their balance, their um, cow smarts, and the fact that they get along with everybody and how they can just really improve, like, soundness. And um, I just think they've got a lot to offer. And... You know, already had made of impact here. Like he's a fifty million dollar sire in America now. He's made a huge impact around the world, and he's starting to make one here. And that, as the progeny keeps coming through, it'll only keep going one way. Now we've just had an interview with John Corbett with his exceptional mare that that's created a lot of hype. The the two year old mare. We've also seen you with the three year old mare today by Metallic Cat out of a boon too soon. Out of one more romance. You two must be excited to put her through the ring to see what she could make. Yeah, you know, it's um, as long as they, you know people are happy with them, um, they'll make what they, what, what people are prepared to pay for them as always. Um, you know, you, we breed now great lines to Metallic Cat. You know, he can't do it all on his own. You know, so you know, you breed the good mares, you breed the best, the best, and you hope for the best. Uh, absolutely, and and you know, we're getting a lot of the better mares go to him, but um, you know, he's obviously getting the the quality back out there. You know, we've seen um, uh, Metallic Storm sell for a hundred thousand dollars. It you know was out of one of your open camp draft winning mares, second in the Warwick Gold Cup. You're putting the caliber of mare like that through to Metallic Cat. Metallic Storms, he's an outstanding individual himself. Yeah, he's a great horse, the way he can dominate cattle. Um, and that that's what, you know, they need. You also need the good mares. And the good mares, it's a combination of both. And then, we, you know, we've got to feed them right and then we've got to start them right and train them through. You, you know, everyone plays a, an important role right through. Now Tom you've just you've just given two things a plug there. A you've given Metallic Cat that you're the the uh, agent for. You've also then gone on and give Prides a plug like you're outstanding. We've come here to do something else and you managed to get both um, people in there. You know, we may as well give Diamond Wall a, a bit of a plug there on your shirt too. Yeah well they're great pads. Victor just you know get yeah. on the Victor and he'll he'll fix you up for a for a great part. So now, now with um, being the agent, how does that work here in Australia? Um, yeah, well, I get offered a lot of horses from over there, but I only take the horse I believe will work for the Australian market, horses for camp drafting mainly, um, good-minded horses, um, horses with a lot of depth in their pedigree, and horses that I believe, I don't, not, you know, no one knows who's going to be a sire until they actually are. So I just try to bring the horses I believe will work, that I believe in, and um, and at this stage it's working really well. So being the agent, what how, what's the process? People want to breed a man a metallic cat? Um, well, this year the demand on him and, and all the stallions has been, you know, far beyond what it has been before. So, you know, we run out, all the stallions booked out this year and, and have got waiting lists for next year. So, you know, depending on what semen we get to how many mares we can breed, because, you know, these horses breed a lot of mares around the world. They breed three and 400 in America alone. Now, obviously, we've been a good three or four years running now with, the, with this uh, bit of a TV show here. We've given the Metallic Cats a hell of a... Hell of a plug over the years. We've, we've ended up, we've done stories on Metallic Storm, made 100,000. Um, can't help an old mate out get in there to Metallic Cat, Tom, can you? Hey? Yeah, well, well um, yeah, we try to help everyone we can, give everyone the opportunity. Now you've heard that on there. <laughs> but my old mates, we're going to help us out and uh, breed ourselves a, uh, a filly like you've got going through. But in all seriousness, Tom, it's the outstanding pedigree, 
They've, they've, what have we got? The top price lot the last four years? Yeah, last four years. And it gets back to the best training aid you can have is a well bred horse. Yeah. Well, they, it costs as much to breed your mare or embryo your mare to, to a good horse as it does to a lesser horse. So. No, outstanding. Well, Tom, thank you very much and best of luck. Um, we can't wait to watch all these horses go through. The two-year-old filly is we're all going to be out there watching to see what happens there. We know she's genuine. We know she's here for sale. And it's just going to be outstanding to see what, you know, hopefully records can tumble. Oh, they will. And it, the whole catalogue is outstanding. Each, each year it keeps getting better. And, and if we keep doing our job, it'll keep getting better. Well, I'd like to thank Tom Williams from, from Moore Park, Glen Ennis, and uh, here we are, the classic 2022. Uh, things are starting to heat up. We're getting into the last of the pre-works. Tomorrow we start to sell them. <laughs>